is up, Hacknight viewers? My name's Antoine, and today uh, we're gonna be playing some Yandere Simulator Visual Novel. This is version 3, and we're gonna be starting off where we left off last time, because now there's more of the story. So if you haven't watched the other episodes, you should probably go watch the other ones. I'll put uh, two annotations for part 1 and part 2 that you can click onto, or you can just look on them on the channel. But yes, we're gonna be continuing off where we left off, and there's actually more things on the screen and uh, and other stuff. <laughs> so let's get into this and uh, find out where we were. I just noticed there's one thing that we never checked out with this one. Uh, so far, I'm going with the purple hair girl first, and we'll do because last time we poked her nose. So let's do stay back. Let's see what happens when we do stay back. Why do you have a weapon? What are you going to do with that thing? Stay back. The girl drops her weapon. No, no, wait! The girl suddenly changes her facial expression. She looks a lot more weirder and crazier than before. It's as if she snapped. Oh, they did the snap thing that you can't do in the game, but everyone asks you to do it. <laughs> she picks up the kind of uh, katana back from the floor. If I could feel emotions, I'm sure I would feel angry right now. She gets closer to you. What? What are you? And stabs you in the stomach with a katana. I hope your severed head loves me more than you do. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> dad, dad, dad. You got the angry ending, aka game over. So that was actually one ending that I missed from the last playthrough. <laughs> okay, I think we're around the part where uh, things go down. You start eating. Dot, dot, dot. You hear someone coughing behind you. Okay, I was. Correct. Uh, dot, dot, dot. The cough gets louder. You look back to see what's happening. Uh, yes, gah, she's choking. Cripple hair girl! Did you choke on something? You start hitting uh, her in the back, hoping to make her spit whatever she's choking on. Your help doesn't seem to be doing anything. Kokono falls in the f on the ground. Kokono no! Kokono no! She's not moving! She doesn't seem to be breathing as well. No! God damn it, Kokono! Please don't do this to me! Please! I have to call the teacher! I still don't know if I say that right. <laughs> you run to get help from your teacher. You get close to your classroom door and push them open. So this is all new stuff. <sighs> hmm? Please open the doors more carefully in the future. Yes, teacher. Please! I need help! There's a girl on the rooftop! She- she choked on something! She fell afterwards, and she's not breathing! I, I think she's dead! What? Dead? Lead me to her! You lead the teacher to the rooftop. Both of you arrived at the rooftop. Where is she? You look around, but you don't seem to find Kokorono's body. What? But she was right here! I know I saw her! So, was this just a prank? I don't think it's very funny. Don't ever waste my time like this again. But, wh what's going on? So, the body got moved. I actually thought the body would still be here. Weird. Okay. I love the school bell. Dot, dot, dot. I swear I saw it. I swear it was real. Right? You go to class. She's not here. Did she went home or something? What am I saying? I saw her choking to death. It couldn't be my imagination. It was so real. But, with that said, why wasn't she there when I got back? She couldn't move by herself. Did someone else move her? But, why would someone move her? If someone did move her, why would they hide her? You're asking a lot of questions, man. <laughs> Unless, she didn't joke. Unless, it wasn't an accident. Was she poisoned or something? 
Uh, what am I saying? I need to pay attention to class. After school is over, you rush out of the classroom. You don't want to talk to uh, talk with anyone. You just want to go home and sleep. Wednesday. Lovely. I wonder if that's different with that one girl though. Nine one Z. Oni Chan, wake up! You're late to school. Just one more minute, Mom. Mom, what are you saying? Wait, what? This is a different room, by the way. Uh, Oni-chan, it's me! Wake up! Oh, it's just... Can't say your name, my little sister. <laughs> uh, what do you want? It's 9 a.m. already. You have to go to school. I'm not going today. What? Why? That doesn't sound like you. Shouldn't you be at school or something? Kiko, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to say her name. I'm just gonna call her little, little sister or something like that. Also goes to Academy High School, like, but she's so small. She's so she looks like she doesn't go to there. She looks like she goes to like a middle school <laughs> or even elementary. Except she's a first year student. Hey, we're talking about you, not me. Why aren't you going to school today? Well. No, it's too late, isn't it? It's never too late! Come on, let's go! Oh, I have choices. I'm gonna save. So we're gonna say no at first. I, th I think that'd be the best. Uh, I said no already. Jeez. Oh, yeah? Try saying no to this. Oh, no. She's gonna make her cute face! Please? Can we go? Oni-chan? Oh, no. Not that face. I can't say no to that face. <laughs> they only put yes options. Look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, which one should I pick? I don't know. Let's go with this one. Yeah, only chance the best. I wonder if there's like a secret in one of those yeses. <laughs> I'll go with you. But wait. You still haven't told me why you aren't at school yet. Well, remember how I don't have my alarm clock yet? I kind of used to wake up by yours. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. So if I oversleep, you oversleep. Wait, so does that mean you also get got a late on the entrance of the ceremony day? Oh, don't worry. I didn't even sleep. Oh, you didn't sleep? <laughs> That's funny. Now, enough chit-chatting. Let's go to school. Yes, little sister. Why not? So, back to the school, right. I still can't believe Coca and I, Coca and I? I don't know, purple player girl, won't be in class once I walk in. I won't accept she's dead. I can't accept she's dead. Um, Oni-chan? Are you okay? You kind of spaced out for a moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, yeah. Are you sure? Hey, aren't we both late? I'm curious if she's gonna die. I'll head to class. Class now. There's two options. I don't know. Uh, let's go with... I'll head to class. Not not so much of in a rush. Why would we be in a rush? I'll head to class. I'll just go to class without you then. Bye. Hey, wait up! Jeez! Honey chan You don't have to be so mean! Well, the other one seemed meaner. It's just the class now. It seems like you would you would be yelling at her. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go back and see if it changes anything. You enter the school building. Both of you punch your ways to your respectable class or respective classrooms. You enter the classroom. Sorry, I'm late. If you're late for class, I must mark you as absent. This will affect your grades. Great. You look around. You don't seem to find purple hair girl. Ugh. Why am I even looking? Hasn't anyone noticed her missing? I wonder if it's a good idea to go to her house after class is over. Her dad must be worried, right? <sighs> I don't think her dad even cares. True, probably. 
I wonder if can't say that goddamn name knows her whereabouts. I think that's blue haired girl. If I'm right. I'm sure she noticed her disappearance. You wait until lunchtime. You couldn't concentrate in class. You can only think about purple haired girl. It is lunchtime. I can't stand being in a class when I know a person is missing. Blue haired girl must be at the rooftop. I'll go ask her about purple haired girl right now. You get out of your classroom. While walking to the rooftop, you hear a door opening behind you. Someone grabs you and pulls you back to a room. Uh, what the? That someone blindfolds you. Hey, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Shh. Oh no! I know you want a big. God damn it! No! Uh, wait a minute! This voice! She takes off the blindfold from you. Wow! Okay, at least it's not the, the extreme revealing we had before, Anne. <laughs> you don't recognize me without the outfit. I. Um. You never replied to my message! Oh uh, yeah, the message! I remember that! <laughs> Why is that, big boy? Didn't you like it? Yes! No! Ah! Uh, I'm gonna save because I might have to come back to this part. I'm actually gonna click yes this time because I think it's this is gonna be like the ending. Well, one one ending. So let's do that. Yes. Well, I. So where's the? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is that? Wait, is that the teacher or is that the? Where's the kid you wanted to share with me? Wait, is that my teacher? Oh, it's you. Well, if it isn't one of my students, you won't mark me absent now, will you? I care about my grades. I could make so many damn jokes with this goddamn. <laughs> Say, do you have any special fetishes, Hunter? Uh, I don't even like that word. It's such a dirty word. Did you ever fantasize about doing it with your. No! No! No, I'm not saying it. <laughs> I'm not. Aren't you supposed to be in the classroom? Of course. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I like. I think this is going to be the end. A different ending. So I, I got to do it anyways. Of course. Um, I. Um, yes. I mean, of course. That's wonderful. Now just relax and enjoy, please, honey. Hey. Co I can't say your damn name. You can't have them all for yourself. Don't worry. I'll share. Dot, dot, dots. Exclamation marks. Someone opens the door. Yes! Saved! I am saved! I swear it's not what it looks like, but you can kill them. That's fine. Whoops, my bad. I, 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 well, I actually said whoops, and then it says my bad. <laughs> I thought this was my classroom. It clearly says, oh, this is like the same thing that happened last time. Except it's not just one this time. I said it was an accident, and you know, whatever sensei, accidents happen to everyone. Everyone. Well, I have to go to lunch now. Sorry for bothering. Who was that girl? I don't know her name. I think she's a second gr grader or something. You know what I mean, like a second year? Well, anyway, where were we? You know, my bento isn't going to eat. No. Talk about food, I swear. Oh, don't you have, oh, oh, oh we're actually talking about food. <laughs> Ah, I thought we weren't talking about food. That's the funny part. Okay, so we have the have fun or go look for that. Uh, let's go do the have fun because I think that's a different ending. I thought we were going to die beforehand. Meh, who needs food anyway? We knew you'd make the right choice. Now come over here, baby. Give us all you've got. 
the three of you have lots of fun. Yes, fun. Lots and lots of it. Before you even realize it, you're late to class. And so is your teacher. <laughs> ah, the censorship. It's back. Wow, that was really fun. Didn't expect that much from you your first time. Say, Blink, why did I get way messier than you? You know, I still have to teach today. I can't shower right now. Yeah, good luck with that. It's been an hour since it rang. So that everyone's in the classroom probably like, where's our teacher? What the hell's happening? Oh shoot, I have to get dressed. I'll unlock the door for you. The nurses unlocks the door. So, big boy. Did you like it as much as we did? Well, I... You hear the door opening. Suddenly, that girl walks in. And different music plays. Duh. I don't recognize it though. Oh my god. I, I, this is an opening. This is an anime opening. Question mark. Oh, it's that girl again. I saw everything. Yeah, great kid. What is this one? I know it. I just, because I think there's words in it. Y yeah, there's words usually in this. I can't believe you look at sem uh, took Senpai from me. No one loves Senpai more than me. No one could have, uh, could love him the way I do. To think I was robbed by a couple of s sluts. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth. I guess I have no choice now. I must do what it takes to get Senpai back from you. The girl looks at the nurse's table. Everything could have gone so well. The girl runs over to the nurse's table. She grabs a syringe and whatever the hell that thing was from it. And sets the nurses with the syringe. The nurse falls and bleeds to death. There's only a teacher left. What have you done? The teacher runs and tries to stop the girl. The girl throws both. I know this fucking song. It's bothering me. And the syringe into the teacher's eyes. Fuck. She then proceeds to choke the teacher to death. It's done. Oh my god. You just murdered someone. Who are you? I know this song. I just did I like I would know it if I could hear the lyrics. Uh you can call me Yandere. I'm not gonna call her by that. I had to eliminate her though. They were ruining our future relationship. I need to protect our relationship. What do you mean, Yandere? That's so sweet. You call me for my for yeah, for my first name. Well, they could never... I have to turn this down. It's so blasting in my ears that I can't even hear myself. They could never love you the, the same way I do. And now, we can finally be together. You do love me back, right, Senpai? Okay, so it seems like we still get the same type of ending. Except the teacher dies as well. So we're, I think we're just going to yes, because that's the better option. Well, of course I do! Oh, what did I say? That's good! If I could feel emotions, I'm sure I would feel happiness right now. We can be happy forever, as long as you remember the three rules. Rule number one, don't tell anyone what you saw here. Rule number two, don't ever cheat on me. Rule number three, love me forever. You got the Yandere Chan ending, aka game over. Great! Awesome! So, like, yeah, that was, um, the same, the same, uh, type of ending, except you killed the teacher on top of her. So I assume the other one would just be me dying, which was, uh, what happened last time. So, we're back to this spot, but we're gonna click no, I did not like it. Well, I... Wait, 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 you didn't even let me say no! So, okay, so, I, I can't say no. Wait, is that? Yes, it's your teacher. So I'm gonna refuse and stuff, because that's important. We've already read this stuff. Uh, aren't you supposed to be in the classroom? Aren't you supposed to be having lunch? Yes, yes, uh, well, yeah, until you kidnapped me. Shh, now. Won't you do us a favor? We really need you. We promise you'll like it. Now relax and enjoy, please, honey. Okay, so, yeah, it now goes back to the same. But I just need that, I need that other option of leaving. 
Because I don't know what happens when I leave. Do they still end up dying? I don't know. <laughs> uh, second year, yes, 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 yes. Uh, go look for her. I really have to go look for blue hair girl. Actually, no. I'm really hungry. My mom will get mad at me if I don't eat it. Uh, you're no fun. What a party pooper. I guess we'll have to do it without you then. Uh, why? I could have left the room before you did that. The nurse undresses herself. The teacher also does the same thing. That nurse just stares at you. At her. Both of them start making out. I was not expecting this. They're really going at it. Yes, yes, yes. Snap out of it. I, I have to go meet blue hair girl. Yes, leave. Be safe. <laughs> God damn it. You got out of the nurse's room. You arrive at the school top. That's what I thought that, 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 that there'd be a safe way to go. It goes kind of worse. <laughs> now, where is she? Oh, there she is. Hey, blue hair girl. It's me, purple hair girl's friend. Uh, oh, it's Senpai. Yeah, I need to ask you something. What is it? It's about purple hair girl. Do you know where she is? She's sick or something. Or, 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 oh, is she sick or something? I haven't seen her since yesterday. I'm really worried. Purple haired girl? I haven't seen her since yesterday, too. It's really strange considering she didn't, didn't any way to sleep. Anywhere to sleep. She didn't anywhere to sleep. She didn't have anywhere to sleep. Because of her dad and all. I tried calling her cell phone yesterday, but she didn't pick it up. There's no reason for the two. Maybe we should go to the police. I don't it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. We may be overreacting. After seeing someone choke and disappear, I think it's a pretty smart idea. Well, thanks. I hope she comes back soon. Me too. You go to eat your bento. Uh, I wonder what kind of bento awaits me today. You start to unpack your bento. Suddenly, your phone starts buzzing. Uh, who might that be? It's a text message. Meet me in classroom 33. I have something important to talk to you about. What an ominous message. I don't recognize this number. Who could this be? What if it's purple hair girl? What if she's trying to talk to with me? What am I saying? That doesn't even make sense at all. I'll go to classroom 33 right now. Dots, you enter the classroom 33. It's so dark in here. I thought we were gonna actually have the option to not go or to go though. Hello, is anyone here? I'm glad you came. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Who are you? How did you get my phone number? Collecting information about the students and role at this high school is my hobby. It's earning me the nickname InfoChan. My specialty, uh, my specialty is uncovering a person's darkest secrets, so learning your phone number was a trivial task. Yeah, right. I'm not buying it. I've heard about your friend. Such a shame. You... How do you know? Purple girl was her name. You bastard. Was it you? Did... Did you poison her? Oh god. Me? Of course not. So... It's true. Um, how could you possibly know that? I plan to become a journalist one day. And I'm preparing myself for investigation... Investigative journalism by honing my skills at this school. And I might just know who killed her. Why are you telling me this? What do you want from me? I'd like to share some information that might interest you. 
You mean, you know who killed her for that girl? All I can say for now is that there's a monster in this school. A monster disguised as a typical teenage girl. She's very passionate. If she wants something, she gets it, no matter how hard it is. Unfortunately, you're that something she wants. She has an unhealthy crush on you. What? Me? But still, why would she kill Purple Hair Girl? Well, she doesn't like to share. You mean, Purple Hair Girl had a crush on me? Oh god, I'll go now. I'll give you time to process all this. <laughs> the, the, the music just stops. <laughs> uh, Purple Hair Girl had a crush on me? There's a girl who's obsessed with me? Yes, you go to class. Ugh, we'll never ever look at our teacher the same again. This, this is actually getting really long. While in class, someone throws you a paper ball. Uh, what? Osana looks at you. I think she threw it. You unwrap the paper ball. There's something written on it. You read it. Is there something wrong? You don't seem too happy. P.S. It's not like you. Uh, it's not. P.S. It's not like I like you or anything. P.S.S. Faka. Thank you. you. Reply back. It's nothing. I'm fine. Hmm. Liar. You don't reply back. <laughs> you keep thinking about that info chan girl. That girl. I think she knows more about who killed Purple Hair Girl. But why didn't she tell me? Or told me? Why didn't she told me? She seems kind of weird. Class is over. You put your notebooks in your locker and leave. You are on your way to leave school. Until you hear a squeaky voice calling for you. Oni chan, wait up! Oh, it's my little sister. Oh, it's you. Don't you have, like, friends you can go hang out with? Yeah, but I prefer being with you. Can I go home with you? Yeah, we, 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 we're both going to the same house, aren't we? Like, we live in the same place. Yeah, hang out time with Oni Chan. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure. To be continued. If you want to see a different storyline, then go meet up with Osana and yes. But what happens when I- I, I want to check a few other things. Ah, there's some stuff that I need to do still. So we're going to quickly just do a few other things with the- our little sister. See if anything happens. We're just going to go with the alright I'm going so people know what's happening. Yeah, no chance the best. I'll go with you. But wait. You still haven't told me why- okay, so that's still the same. So nothing really changed there. So we'll go back to that part where we can either go with her or we can go by ourselves. Okay, we have class now. I don't know if this is still the same rude thing, but oh well, we'll try it. Class, now! You grab her by the arm and start walking in the direction of the school building. Jeez, Oni Chan, you don't have to be so mean. So it, it's pretty much the exact same. I don't think there was anything else that I missed then. So it seems like there's no other choices once you get to like the um, your sister and stuff that we didn't choose. So, I'm gonna end an episode here. We'll do the other side uh, next time, because this is a longer episode than what I thought it would be. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, though. If you guys did, then definitely do it the like button. Really just help the channel. Subscribe, pick up a comment, and down below, and I will see you guys another episode. Whatever I make. Senpai is just destroying this. Miley, what? Senpai is just too good. What do you do on your spare time? <laughs> Okay, Elmiley steps up, steps up the game. She se 